Adi's kitchen. Today I am going to prepare chicken fry. Let us see the ingredients we require for the chicken fry. Oil, half a cup of water, broken cashew nuts, lots of uh, curry leaves, chopped coriander, 3 to 4 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, salt to taste and just one and a half tablespoon of uh, biryani masala. You can check my videos how to make biryani masala or you can buy in any store. Red chili powder I have taken here almost one tablespoon and uh, just half a tablespoon of turmeric powder. I have got uh, half a kilo of chicken. I just added a little bit of uh, salt to this and then uh, you know marinated this for almost uh, two hours. You know what it does it makes the chicken uh, more tender and also juicy but uh, you can also directly use this chicken instead of adding it to salt and uh, keep it for two hours in freeze. Take a uh, small uh, pressure cooker like this and uh, keep the chicken in this. Add approximately one tablespoon of uh, ginger garlic paste already to this and as I'm already added the salt so don't add the salt at this point of time so add very little of turmeric and then now you add water you know, gently mix this don't add uh, too much water okay Now we are going to cook this meat uh, under the pressure uh, just like 10 minutes or just for one whistle in the pressure cooker. Cook the meat under uh, you know medium to high flame uh, for 10 minutes or just uh, you know leave it for one whistle it should be fine. Chicken is already cooked. Uh, let's get uh, started with the, you know, frying the other ingredients meanwhile. So place a pan and keep the flame on medium heat. And add around 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil. Okay, the oil is almost, uh, you know, heated up. So first I'm adding the cashew nuts. Fry them gently. And now medium to low flame. Fry the cashew nuts to the light uh, golden brown color and separate uh, them from this oil. The cashew nuts are already fried enough. So as I said, uh, just separate them from this oil. Reduce the flame first. Now I am adding the remaining uh, ginger garlic paste which is approximately 2 tablespoons saute a bit to reduce the flame okay, I am also adding the curry leaves you see, I am using a lot of them. This gives a really nice and unique uh, flavor to the chicken fry. Saute them. 
allow it to cook for at least one minute ginger garlic paste and curry leaves are fried nicely so you can add uh, chicken saute a bit this chicken is really cooked very nice just uh, cook this chicken for uh, 5 minutes uh, later we will be adding the rest of the spices to this and allow it to cook for another 2 more minutes afterwards so it's almost uh, 4 to 5 minutes and adding the rest of the spices a little bit of uh, turmeric and almost 1 tablespoon of chili powder and 1 and a half tablespoon of uh, biryani masala powder and salt I'm adding a little bit at this point of time we will check the salt and then adjust according to our taste later so just mix it nice Let me check uh, salt and the spiciness and at this stage we can adjust also. We can add a little amount of salt. This is good enough. I like to have uh, more spicy so I am adding also another half a tablespoon of it. Mix it. I think the flavors are really nice. The aroma coming out of this chicken fry is really good, and uh, especially the ginger garlic paste and the curry leaves. The aroma is really nice. Leave it for another two minutes on uh, medium to high flame. Your chicken fry will be. So at this point of time, we can add the fried uh, cashew nuts. I have got some uh, nice fried eggs. I'm also adding them. You know, this is optional. If you want, you can add them along with the fried cashew nuts. Now just uh, mix it. Now I'm adding coriander. Okay, I just uh, switched it off. The chicken fry is already ready. It's really tender. Let me taste this. The chicken is really juicy and really tender.